Hello, welcome back. Last time I found the puff level, and played around here and had a real good time with it. There's a uh, secret wall here, by the way. Oh. It's the way to another level. Secret level? Oh. <laughs> that was a real nice touch. Nice. Okay. There's a secret level. Level ampersand. Sometimes the architect has an idea, but never gets around to doing very much with it. This might be one of those times. <laughs> so this is where the... Um, unpolishedness of the hold comes in, I guess. On this level, there is magic that makes the seep's home crumble when there are no more puffs in the room. Okay, cool! So, a little bit of custom scripting. Combine all puffs or eliminate otherwise. Um, is your turn order friendly to this? No. Um, if I stay here... Right, I want you to move that. Well, no, that's not what I want. These two are the ones I'm looking at. Oh, this is fine. They'll sandwich together there. Cool. All right, neat. Okay, so I guess we're doing an alternate version of Puff Level. <laughs> nice. Oh boy. Uh, so I'm going to guess there's an odd number of puffs here because this exists. Or, well, hang on. No, I need to know. Do I combine them all or do I want one to touch that? And also, does puff geometry make a difference here? It would slightly. Let's just do the simple thing and kind of just get them all together. See what happens. Make make lots of fluff. Run in circles, see what happens. If I have a stray puff I can't easily tuck somewhere, then just... Ooh, okay, so they're making separate things just left to their own devices. But that seems like this is so much fluff. Yeah, I can, I can tuck these away here and it'll be fine. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, this is neat. One, two, three, four, nine. Okay, so I need a nine puff shape. Really? What would that be? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, just a, a three by three square, of course. Yeah. So I need a three by three square here. Oh, that's that's one valid answer. There may be more. Neat. So thinking of fluff geometry in this way is a new experience. Come on, turn order yourselves the other way. You're not going to, huh? Dude, come on now. Just no. You can't. You can't combine that way. You need to combine a different way. Okay. Um. So if two puffs are in a line like that, how do I get them not to be? Okay, so this is fascinating. That's one way. I can make this work. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is super cool. Wow. Uh, I see. The unpolishedness of this is the... Uh, <laughs> in, like, the level aesthetics. All right, turn order was my friend there, kind of. Okay, yeah, so getting puffs to behave in a situation like this is always, well, for me, it's always just guesswork. Um, I guess I could stop and inspect their turn order and try to do something with it. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need that shape. Got it. I know what to do. So make a two by two first, if possible. There's one. Okay, and then, oh no, okay, so I need to avoid that. Get these to do, will you do what I want? No, um, but maybe I can still make you. Yeah, there we go, cool. <laughs> nice. This is pretty simple. It's original. I like it. Decoys. Are you on, like, fuses or something? Yes. How much of that is fuse? Oh, decoys will kill the... F okay. Now, but wait, this is not all fuse. Okay, so a little bit of unpolishedness here. Pretty sure... I guess I can see... Yeah, okay, so these puffs are just slightly yellower than these puffs. 
This stuff is easier to see when I can like lean in closer to the screen, but I can't really move my head because of where my microphone is. Um, okay, so we have a fuse grid like this. Every two, basically. Uh, placing a decoy. Can I place one on a puff? No. Good to know. Alright, well let's... Um, so it will both create a space for combination to be able to happen and also kill one of the puffs. And the decoy, of course. Um, hmm. I don't have a plan. I'm just kind of doing things. Let's see. Non-corner fuses will be more valuable if I can get to those. So aim for the center. If at all possible. I mean, that's that's an, that's an edge one. It's not... Hmm. Uh, maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Wow, really? Yeah, I'm gonna shuffle this move order around because just it just makes more sense to go for center ones. Who knows what's gonna happen? Move order's a big mess. <laughs> uh, okay, so one more empty space that I'm hoping I can get some of these to vacate so I can merge those two. Is that the most valuable thing to do? I don't know. I have a lot of decoy potions. I may be over-optimizing this more than necessary. But I'd rather that than the alternative. Than the opposite, I guess. Opposites are not the only alternatives. Mm -hmm. There we go, there's a good one. I would like to get into this space. That looks like the most appealing one. And I think I can. Good. Uh, hmm. Feels like I might be setting myself up for a problem here. So four more decoys. Let's just go for edge fuses at this point, because I got all the center ones. So that's good. I'm being successful. Huh. Look at this. This is fascinating. Look at this. So it's not a... This surprises me. Hold on, no, there's a fuse there. <laughs> oh, hey, there are more decoy potions. Oh, okay. I didn't even see those. Um, I'm probably going to need to use them, so let's... I thought for a moment that it was... Oh, look what I've done. I've made a no-puff zone here. Hmm... Well, I can I can use you here at least. I thought for a moment that um, uh, stuff had happened. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, it was an action of the puff on its own turn to combine into fluff, but that was not the case. I just saw wrong, basically. Uh, let's see if I. Well, I mean. Okay, that's fine. Is it though? I hope it is. I think it can be. Oh no, I have a solitary. That's okay. Solitary can just kill a decoy. Okay. Yep, I was right. That wasn't as strict as as it could have been. I'm glad it wasn't. It didn't need to be. What's this? Thin ice over deep water. So all those need to go. Construct can get rid of them, but why is this here? I mean, this is just simply sweet puffs with construct. There's a staff. Oh, I see the problem. No, Seep is still alive, keeps the construct reviving. Maybe this room is just for optimizers because I don't see the, like, just clear the room challenge here. Feels like this is pretty much just for optimizers because I mean I can I can do just whatever. Um, if I don't care about move count, then oh hey I can. Uh, well, constructs won't stay put as nicely as what I wanted to do. I wanted to just kind of sit there. I mean I can do this. 
That mostly works. Mostly. Not entirely, though. Yeah. See, I kind of prefer sword. Um, could do stick, but sword just feels better. Here, now I can do this. There we go. Yeah, so if you're optimizing, that room's more of a challenge. If not, not really. Yeah, pretty sure that's what that room was for. Okay. Um, super quick wall crack check. I mean, there they are. Uh, but that's Seep's home. Okay, well, I think that's a level ampersand. Neat. That was a cool little interlude. I should have stepped on one of those checkpoints. Oh well, I'll step on this one. Neat. So, remember this room. Uh, I took a closer look at it during video editing and stuff and figured out what was wrong with my analysis. So things that need to happen. This roach has to get off this pressure plate, which means this orb needs to break. The reason that orb needs to get off that pressure plate is one, so he can die, two, so he kills the Antlik. Antlik is going to be looking this direction. The Antlik looking that direction is blocked by the puff. So another room about that particular interaction. The seep needs to cross this gap and also this gap in order to kill the puff. The seep will technically survive the encounter but then die on its own turn when, um, well actually just at the end of everybody's turn. It doesn't get a turn since it's stunned. Anyway, will die at the end of everybody's turn because it won't be inside a wall when that happens. Which is fine. Let's see, so the mimic needs a particular weapon. I think it's sword? Yeah, because that's the only way to kill this roach. Mimic with sword gets pushed by Bethro with stick. Over top of the pit. The way the orb breaks is by the Omplik looking at it, which is why I want to kill the puff so the Omplik can look there. Okay, uh, so I want a mimic with a sword. Oh, no I don't. I want a mimic with a staff. I have to clone the staff, but the mimic can get the sword back from that token because Bethro keeps the staff. That mimic's gonna drop Bethro's really big sword down that pit and he'll never see it again. Except he magically gets another one at the end of the room. <laughs> His most prized possession. Uh, okay, so how do I do this? Uh, I need to multi-push. So, plenty of assistive briars here to make that easy. If I had the mimic here facing this way and Bethro here facing north, that sounds pretty good. Um, Let's see, I can't do it that way, I need to do this. Uh, no, this is wrong, you're misaligned. I need this, I think. Uh, and then, the, uh, oh, wrong turn order, of course. Because Bethro goes first. Okay, so reverse these two. Which will be a little more annoying with the seat management. Um, but that's perfectly doable. Ouch. Oh, and also Mimic, stick, you're... Okay, so I'll do... Uh, what will I do? Okay, so I may have picked a poor way to set this up. Maybe if I do this, it'll do good things. Well, that Mimic has its stick in just a terrible spot. I should choose a different setup. So instead, let's have Bethro stand here, push the seep here, and then the Mimic has nowhere to stand. Okay, yeah, because angles, angles are complicated. Um, is there a way to make this work just make this work because I can't step south here is the problem hmm okay um see here I am kind of getting fixated also I have no no this configuration is wrong B throw would be 
No, that was what I planned. Okay, so if B throw face north here, push seep there. Yeah, okay, let's try that. B throw face north. Here, mimic. B be it be a different direction. Uh I think this one. Um So I want to be in this conf- oh, but you got stunned. Um, uh, there we go, I did it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the only configuration that was going to work there. There were a lot that would not work for various reasons. Okay, let's do that again. So, um... B throw facing north here, mimic facing north here. That's an easier one to set up. Okay. And the seep's gonna be reasonably cooperative with this. There we go, good. All right, seep come here, get pushed by somebody. How about me? Good, good, good. And that'll do fine, just go here. And go there. Nice. Okay. Simple enough. <laughs> a lot more people have played this hold since last I looked. Again. Probably. Well, I can't see demos here. How many people? Okay, that was last place, so seven. All right. Uh, you can eat that, sure, and then those will be attracted to that and let it out and I can stab it. Okay. Simple enough. Oh, but I have to make sure that... Okay, so a little bit of babysitting to make sure that they go the right way. Let's... Okay, so here's the smart thing to do. Get them all the way to the north. Because that's the easiest way to... Um, easiest place to keep a serpent type. Because, right, the risk is that they would not break the briar in um, in the right spot, basically. Uh, yeah, linearize, do that, that's good. But that thing's going south, but it won't stay for long. Uh, but cycles mean... Huh? Sure. Uh, well, okay, let's do that again. Okay, sure. Okay, so you need to get off me and get on that. Neat, okay. Little more complicated than I gave it credit for at first. Okay, so you should be able to ride that almost the whole way. Uh, yes, that's fine. Good. <laughs> These puff puzzles seem easier than the rest of the hold, from what I saw of it. Oh dear, they're nice. And trapdoors. A trapdoor gate. This looks simple and puff-free. Hmm. I guess it just fit thematically better in this place. Uh, I'm not really planning anything. I'm just kind of doing this and hoping I can improvise. Let's see. When's the last time I fought goblins on trapdoors or trapdoor-like things? Might have been Journey to Rooted Hold. Uh, I don't remember how to do it. But I do know decent goblin moves for killing them in without me moving too much. That seems quite viable. Okay. Ah, uh, the construct is to... Ooh. Make things like this difficult. It's not too bad, though. I did not think about the fact that constructs would also be dropping trapdoors. Turns out I didn't need to. There's plenty of thin ice there. Good. Final room. So don't let them sit on the hot tiles, probably. Simultaneously press both of these plates, because one has to kill the brain, the other has to not kill the tar. Because just one at a time will kill. So... Wait, what? Get staff, keep staff. Uh, 
Alright, so... Hang on, how do I get... Oh, he's brained. He's gonna come to me. If I step, like, here-ish, well, then I'll be stepping over that. Hmm... If I have to go in there to get the golem out, let's find out if that's true. Sure seems to be. I cannot do that. And now he's not brained anymore. What? I get a staff. Oh, I get it. Form fluff right here so that his brain, his path to me will change. And hope I can race from here to here quick enough as about the same time it takes him to get there. Looks like that's roughly the same distance. Okay, now I understand. I didn't get it before. Uh, how do I save these puffs from themselves? I can do... Uh, okay, so I need to do... I need to need to be smart here. Okay, so... <laughs> really? In a trod room? Okay, you saw the brain because it was slightly closer than B-throw. So then I go, uh, and then I go, uh. Okay, good. Ah, uh, no! Still brain closer B-throw. Uh, okay. Okay, so just do this and then go straight over. Um, I guess this is the best I'm going to get. There we go. <laughs> okay, so a little mini puzzle before the main puzzle. All right, so you're relatively safe looking at that brain. Uh... Luff should have no trouble forming on force arrows, right? Pretty sure that's right. Hey, stop that. Hey! Oh, that's fine. I can attract you. I thought you were going to be a problem. Go back down there. Become... One piece, and... Yeah, see, that's what I kind of thought. Okay, I think I get what to do about it. Um, something like that, sure. There we go, done. Uh, I don't have my sword, but I do have a pit. Or hot tiles, I'll use the pit. Nice. Okay, I did it. And that's level P. I had a real good time here. That was awesome. Alright, back to level H. Hub, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna guess hub is what the H stands for. Okay, cool! Uh, where was I? Those scrolls probably don't say anything. Warning, scroll may be hot. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, looks like a multi-push sort of situation. Um, who is going to get pushed? This looks like I have way more resources than I need, doesn't it? So probably a decoy can stab the skipper. You're going to be my skipper stab stabbing decoy. You could just as well have a staff, it doesn't really matter. Why are there two decoy potions? And wait a second. Um, this is not right. Okay, so hang on, let me, let me think for a moment. Um, wait. Ah, uh, that's why the scroll's there, so I can't do that. I see. Okay, so, in order for something to be pushed from here to here, it needs to get pushed first. First, I need a staff here that moves here. Either by stepping or by that kind of motion. Probably by... St mm -hmm. Okay, so one mimic does this. One mimic does this. So I need the staff inside that. Maybe that's what the extra decoy is for, to make it a little bit easier to put something inside. Here, I'm... <laughs> Seeing my caravel nut place has suddenly made me care about move count for some reason. Um, so... For convenience, I'll put this here so I can easily insert a staff into this decoy. And I think that's actually necessary. So that one needs to be a wall. Which is fine. Um, 
I need decoys to be out of sync with each other. That's fine. Uh, and then this... Actually, if I moved you one north and did exactly that, then that would just work. Done. Okay, cool. I didn't even need the extra decoy to be a barrier. Neat. Uh, okay, so... That's gonna light that fuse. What's with this? That's weird. What's this for? I have no idea. Those are decoys, right? Yeah. So, shortly this is going to close. It might affect Wraithwing behavior somehow, except it won't. What is this? Kill the monsters and leave the room. Oh, hi. I need to save an object to be there. What? Well, this is a good object for that, but it needs to die somehow after that. I can't get a hold of that thing. Can't get a hold of that thing. I get it. I understand so quickly that Evil Eye is currently asleep. I need to very quickly position it. Roach, you're in the way. Um, evil Eye has to be very quickly positioned there before this goes off. That's going to let the Evil Eye see this decoy. Uh, the row of decoys means that I can never stop for more than a turn here. Um, as well he's stunned, he won't wake up. Ouch. He has to be asleep here. Okay, yeah, and if I just wait... Oh, also that powder keg goes away and he wakes up. I see. So how do I manage? Shoving around an evil eye, but also have a roach in my way. Hold on, what does this? Oh, okay, I have no... There is no timing component there, so all I need to do is kill a roach and a wraith wing while not allowing this evil eye to be unstunned for more than one turn. Okay, I think I can do that. With a little bit of planning. Oh, uh, wraith wing, you managed to be a barrier also. I have no situ no nowhere I can go from there. Trying to get into some kind of stable pattern here. Oh, shoot. Um, how will I get rid of this roach? I want to get my sword. How's this Wraithwing going to die? And a water skipper. Wait a second. Well, I'm going to have to deal with both of them somehow during this. Wraithwing maybe dies here? That's probably it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's a pretty specific move I'll have to use, but I can do that. Roach is my more immediate problem. So my vision blocker went away. This is super cool, by the way. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> what a room. Uh, I can't afford this because that moves my staff too far away from the evil eye, and now I'm just stuck in a, an impossible pattern. So, Rochi, you're a pain. And, right, I can't do that ever. Oh, yeah, right, so if I, um... No, that's, that's the same thing. I've already... Ah! <laughs> uh? No? No. Right, so what do I want? I feel like I want my sword back. No, false. Because if I got my sword back, it would be at least another extra turn that this would not be stunned before I could get the stick back and then stun it again, right? Actually, hold on, I need to test something. Okay, so here's what I don't know. 
if I have, say, an evil eye and a staff token, I could probably have tested this in this in that room, actually, but now I'm here, so I'm going to do it this way. If I am... Okay, yeah, so Bethrow takes the weapon, then uses it the same time. I mean, of course, I knew I knew this. Why did I why did I need to, to test that? I, I should have just known. Oh, well, that's what I did. Uh, where is... What's the hold I'm playing called? This, Decadent in Chrysalis, whatever that means. I had to look up Decadent because I thought I knew what it meant, but then I wasn't sure, and it turns out one of the common meanings is not what I would expect. It's like... Dilapidated? Broken down? But also... Um... Like, excess. Which seems almost like opposites, but it's it's kind of weird. Um, okay, so what about... I think I have to keep my staff. Let's see, if I were here... If I were here... No... No, definitely not. All right. The Wraith Wing can block the Roach for a moment. I saw it happen. But what good's that going to do me? Just gives me a little more time to position the Evil Eye, but I don't know where I want to position it. So I need to think about what type of move would allow me to take just one single turn to dispose of a Roach feels almost like I want to use this space. That space is hard to use. I need a lot of extra room to turn all the way around with the staff and everything to get the evil eye. I have some extra turns here, probably just to let me, like, get my stuff oriented where it needs to be oriented. Okay, I think I'm onto something here. Uh, not quite. Um, I can't get enough distance. Hmm. If this were rotated, so if I were instead doing something like this, that roach would end up next to me. So I can't get into a situation where... Yes, I can. Okay, I see a, I see a way. I think. I just need to time it. Uh, so you need to be moving in a different direction than that. I want this situation, I think, because then I can do one of those. Uh, no, okay, so I can't, so not only do I need to do this, but I also need to, my staff to end up in a place where it's still next to the evil eye? So something more like... I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, I think. Okay, so this, this one can be done at just any edge. It doesn't require this special spot here. So what I'm trying to do... Yeah, is... I, I need more time. Um, well, okay, so I can't do that. Alright, so you really need to move south, but you will need to be near an edge for this to work. Oh, what did I want to do again? Let's just line up the roach on the diagonal I wanted, I guess. Somehow I was going to... Okay, so... If I were one to the north, I could do... This, and that, and then... Or, uh, this. The roach would be in the pit, and I would still be next to the evil eye. So I need that situation one to the north. 
I didn't do it. Okay, so I need to be farther west first. Wow, this is complicated. I like it. Um, timing. Timing needs to be better. So do one of those, and then this, and then that, and maybe... Ho! Oh! Good, and I need this space to... Okay, so this space is used. Okay. I would love to step on that. Good. Okay. Whew. So now I must deal with a Wraithwing. No, I don't. Wraithwing can just do that. Now I must deal with a Water Skipper. Okay, this will be completely different. <laughs> I see how this works. <laughs> this is silly. I'm moving it. It's getting closer to where it needs to be. Oops, oops. Uh-uh. Now, I need an approach. That lets me... I don't want that approach. I'd love to do that, but I can't. I can do this, this, this. Done. Nice. <laughs> this room's amazing. Alright, so Water Skipper... Uh, water Skipper. That's what I just killed. Wraithwing. Other thing that starts with W. Um, so Waba needs to come with me over in that direction. And be in line just right. Kind of like this. Very much like that. Um, I think I can work with this. With a little bit of effort. Uh, still not doing what I need you to do. I need you one more south. How will I make that happen? I'm kind of doing the opposite of what I need to be doing here. Okay, so you get into my row. Now, while you're... That's almost what I want. That's... Can I work with this? No, because you move down there. So I want... Um, I want you two north in this situation. So how do I... Okay. Hmm. How will I eventually end... Okay, so how did I get here? You were one north of the... Hold on, how many north of the row you'll end up in? Yeah, one north of the row I want you in. Okay, so I want this. But but I'm I'm too close to I'm on the wrong side of the evil eye. Okay, so. Oh. This is some hefty manipulation. So I go this far. Well, but I don't. Okay, I need you one more south of where you are. That's what it is. Because I need to do this, this, and this, I think. But then I'm forced to push you north, which is not good for my goals in life. Uh, can I do this? Not quite. So if I were to leave you there... Ah! I can't. If I do this, then that, then... Ah! Uh, it just doesn't quite do it. Ah! <laughs> this is hard. Let's start over closer to the thing. No! Oh, not that close. Uh... Okay, so other side of Wraithwing. Can I just, like... Can I just get around this evil eye? This looks promising. I like what I see here. But then the evil eye too far south. Okay, so, um... 
How about if we go one more this way, then do the same thing. Just kind of iterating on what I have to see if I can get to where I need to be. No! If I were one more north. It's always one more north. Which probably has something to do with the Wraithwing's relative horizontal position. So I need to be... What I actually need is one more west, I think. Okay, so let's start there. Oh wait, I need... <sighs> How do I always end up one too far south? It's like I'm not rotating quick enough here? Okay, so let's go way farther north than I think I should be. And now I'm too far north. Okay, well... South, south. Do that again. I didn't do it. No, you're... you need to be... okay, so one more east from there. Ah! But then that disrupted my pattern. Well, is that okay? Maybe if I just go one more west and do this... No, it, it, does, it's not, it doesn't... Ah, ah. So I go here now. I do this. I do this. I do that. I see what the problem is. I, but but I've, I've had the Wraithwing in the same row as me when this happened. Why did... Uh, why don't I understand anything? I can't perform calculations about how this is going to be behave because it's too many turns out. Too many turns away from where I currently am to reasonably reason about it. However, I see some things that I can think about. This is going to give me a terrible score in this room, by the way, which is fine. So with the Wraithwing's horizontal position... There's a very specific place B throw is going to need to be to maintain that, and it's farther east than this. So I'm farther east. I did it, finally. Boy, that was fiddly. Did that even work? I don't think it did, because I don't have time. So as soon as you step there, the Wraithwing has to already be there? Oh, right. Okay. So you know what? Everything I just did was worthless, because I know there's a very specific set of moves I need to use on this Wraithwing to get it to do what it needs to do. Maybe what I did isn't worthless, though. I at least got the Wraithwing aligned. <laughs> Okay, be would have been nice if I had realized what was going wrong with what I was doing earlier. But I didn't. That's just how these go sometimes. Alright, so... Oh, this has gone completely off the rails. Okay, so... You go here. Okay? How's that sound? Sure. You're there now. Uh, you went too far. Ah. Ah. Hey, you're in the right place. Okay, so... I need... If you were a bit farther north... I think I might be able to work with this. I mean, no, you're in the wrong... place. Ah! This is frustrating. Okay, so hang on. I really do absolutely need to work backward from here, otherwise I'm just gonna fiddle until I luck into a solution. Okay. I'm only annoyed at myself. <laughs> uh, this room is super cool, but I'm, I'm annoyed at myself for how I'm handling it. So, here's what needs to happen. Wraithwing will be directly on the fire trap when the evil eye steps here by being pushed from Bethro standing here with his staff to the north, evil eye will be here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Bethro will turn 
and that will go there. So that means I need Evil Eye here, Bethro facing north here, Wraithwing there. Okay, that's my preconditions. That's my setup. That's what I want to happen. Something like that had happened recently. Um, this is not too far off. That's extremely close. So if the Wraith Ring were one more north... Okay, so wait a turn. Okay. Look, I did it. See? Just stop and think for a moment. Um, there we go. Okay. Just stop and think and everything's good. Uh, I don't need my sword. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so this level's a lot harder than level P, uh, which was also harder than level Ampersand. <laughs> so it gets easier the deeper I go, apparently. <laughs> I did not even get a place there. <laughs> I did so poorly, I didn't even place on the leaderboards. Okay, yeah, so I'm annoyed with my handling of that room, but it was a super cool room. Good, good, good. Alright, see you next time to explore level H some more.